Hey, baby, Sunshine Goddess 323, how's your girl, guys? Yes, baby, happy Saturday from me to you, and I hope you guys had a great Friday night. How let your girl now say So, energy to energy, if it resonates, res hit that notification button down below. So you're notified when I post my videos, reading, writing, ritual, spiritual consultation, no job too big or small, baby, do you believe in magic? Because, I, you know what I'm saying, I'm figuring out how to do all this stuff, so we'll, um, come and talk to me, that's Heaven Campbell song, I heard it twice yesterday, I said, oh, this this period that we're getting ready to go into you know you know the children mercury retrograde listen this this is you i need y'all to just be who you are and and to know that it, the intensity of things and and lots of things are going to happen but nothing to be fearful because god will never put nothing more on you than you can handle right but listen to this when that sudden energy that doubtful energy creeps in you know why you got to leave it alone because if you if you think about it if you if you put an action to it there's have to be an effort that follows that manifestation so if you're thinking oh i won't be able to do that well that energy of effort of i won't be able to will follow you so if you for once it's okay to have self-doubt for a second but if you for once think i can't because right before you get what you want or right when you you're at a point where you think you should be or where you're comfortable or where you need to be but also still growing doubt will slip in okay and the energy i'm picking up is somebody in their connection within their relationship sudden doubt will creep in and will cause lots of things to be ruined and you're like what just happened everything was good five minutes ago so so doubt so the the positive thinking will help the connection if the doubt creeps in you have to look at yourself and wonder where is this doubt energy coming from why do i not feel self self-sufficient because nobody can make you or do or feel any other type of way than you allow them to okay so that has a lot of boundaries to do with it too so so um also will you be my wife he came on yesterday twice i said wow all these all these same songs okay all these same songs so somebody may feel as though they're not sufficient enough um financially sufficient enough for a relationship or a connection but god said a man who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor so you never have to worry about not having enough when you're within this connection i i'm just speaking from a spiritual standpoint i understand that people want to have their lives together finances stay together yes i know that affects relationship connections but god did say a man who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the lord okay so somebody's really attracted you you wear your your oh my goodness you wear your ro romantic well you attract romantic love by fully enjoying the moment of where you are now in life Woo! okay having whoa healing family issues and marriage so somebody thinks you're wanting to be your wifey baby marriage healing family issues as your love life benefits as you forgive your parents i'm like so stuttering today it's very clarify this attraction energy for me please coming forward to you you are attracting everything you want in your life what you have to maintain and do and keep your thoughts positive that's the only thing that's going to happen you can literally change your your life by change your way of thinking spirit clarify this wedding card Woo! healing we have healing and manifestation somebody's manifesting so healing family issues but somebody's also manifesting this love this wedding energy okay spirit clarify this healing and family issues i like this healing and family issues energy figuring out the right path there was three to three on the clock figuring out the right path the right way to go okay so this person spirit clarify this attraction energy of all the people that this person dealt with you are the one that hides the highest self-regard you're the one that this person's very romantically attracted to okay that the, to the point where they thought that they would want to marry you. spirit clarify this wedding energy for me please that they know okay so healing this person they're manifesting this situation spirit can you clarify this tower energy for me please communication this person they're trying to figure out how to communicate the energy i'm picking up is like there's somebody that i want to marry but i also have to figure out how to communicate i also have to figure out how to talk to them spirit clarify and i feel like a lot of this energy that i'm picking up because during um mercury retrograde you know a lot of things will be tested but the energy that was picking up and i've been reading around and also talking it's like it's not the time to try to fix okay you kind of just have to allow everything to be as it's going to be because it's you may heighten something that's not necessarily present okay so it's very clarified this 
this fa fa healing family issues so i really feel like this tower card came out before the seven of pencils card on the wedding because this person wants to be financially they want to make sure they have good finances before they come in and solidify this connection you can't like you they want to be able to give this person they want to be able to give to you whatever you want okay you could have whatever you like it was four five six seven o'clock they want to be able to give to you everything they have so in turn healing they've thought a lot about marrying you spirit clarify this marriage energy they've thought a lot about that i feel like this person one time will say you know of all the people i've been with you're the one that i want to marry okay so i feel like also this person 77 energy again really wanting to be abundant within this connection baby by october i'm picking up some october energy 11 11 i love it i love it healing healing lots of healing going on so you and your person are doing lots of healing whether together separately sexually whatever the case may be the healing that's within this connection is elevating you guys to a higher level of commitment okay healing walking away from things that don't serve you i feel like both of you both know at this point i feel like you and your twin flame this person seven again seven energy healing things it's like you both know now what's better what's not what's good for your soul i almost feel the energy is if you guys are operating as one whole and separate lives okay because that's your twin flame soulmate okay so we're clear for this healing family issues i love that making decisions to to close chapters to close wounds to be in that forgiving energy really because healing your your family issues is also so helping you heal parts yourself heal parts your twin flame soulmate and this and it's just a journey you know it's a journey it's a celebration spirit wants to celebrate okay overwhelming emotions you know the energy i'm picking up is someone that may love there's uh, there's lots of love energy that i'm picking up in this connection spirit can you clarify this attraction energy for me please lots of love when i say baby lots of love not only between you and your person but yourselves your self-love see you guys are healing and every time you heal you be able to step forward more and more okay as you love who you are you become more confident in your relationships and who you're with and anyone around you okay that's so crazy because i got that download you know i before i did this reading i started saying i love all the parts about me that other people don't Okay, Sunshine Goddess Crew, energy is energy. If it read main attraction, you are this person. Listen, this person, they could be with a thousand people, but someone can keep their eyes off you. You are the leading star. You are the center of attention in this person's life to the point where they know they want to marry you. I'm also picking up the energy. This person, they know you so okay they know you very well but i also feel like they've studied you and they've almost this person i feel like unbeknownst to you that that the fire detectors are going off too so smoking hot baby main attraction i was saying smoking hot that this person knows or maybe studies you so much that at that at some point they probably can tell you more about yourself than you no seriously that's the energy i'm picking up because they're so attracted to you i feel like they're so focused you're just too good to be true you leave me like kevin to touch i want to hold you so much so we're clarify this i see this right here healing family issues so annoying so maybe somebody wants to get their life together healing their family issues because how can they bring you around their parents how can they bring you around your family if they're having issues with their family okay knowing that you're the one also i feel like this person has spoken to their family about this connection being guided by someone helping them with this connection okay so very clarify this attraction self-love baby best part you meeting your person was the best part of their life okay and life were a movie being with each other would be the best part you bring out the best parts of each other especially when it comes to this healing energy it's like god aligned you guys to be together for a reason so we're gonna clarify this main attraction energy okay with this low vibration out there's a warning message beware of gossip envy and jealousy someone or something's trying to come in the way of this connection now i don't think right now someone's trying to come in the way of this connection what i feel like this person won't allow that to happen okay they won't allow gossip envy or jealousy to anything nothing's gonna come in between wifey baby no one's gonna come in between that knowing that something that they want to do is get married so this person i'm saying it's no watch out they're not worried about that because they know this connection fruitful harvest thank you spirit for clarifying they know that that you guys are going to grow and you can get through whatever you go through and they're not worried about that what they want to do is stay attract be attracted to you continue to heal and and get their finances together okay you planted the seed that the universe gave you due to your patience and growth you are now able to fully enjoy the fruits of your labor sunshine goddess crew energy to energy if it res it res and, and healing those interferes as you guys go along okay creating a deeper int intimacy within this connection sunshine goddess crew energy to energy if it resonates it resonates all right let's see some i'm using different cards today <clears throat> some of these cards 
feeling like this love energy. Spirit, can you clarify this attraction energy for me, please? You guys are facing your inner fears. You're doing it. You've overcome yet again another karmic cycle. Sunshine you guys through energies, energy. If it resonates, it resonates. Now this person's ready to get married, baby. Hold me to it, okay? I'll try my hardest. Attraction, you are the one that they want to be with main attraction. Really, this person, maybe you not putting that heavy energy on them, but this person to themselves saying, I'm going to be true. I'm going to be true to him. I'm going to be true to who I am. I'm going to be true to this journey because this is somebody, as the time goes on, as it gets further down the line, that I want to marry. Okay, Spirit, can you clarify this healing family issues? As you heal your family issues, oh my God, I'm drooling. As you heal your family issues, you heal within your relationships. And I love this because look at this. Friendship lovers, okay? Powerful experiences. That's a no for me, dog. Loss of possession. So intuitively guided, intuitively encouraged as well to heal things that are going on in, with your family. Such a guys crew, energy to energy, if it are because it, ex it, it um, accentuates your connection and helps build up the past things. And closing those wounds, that's the thing, closing those wounds, closing those fears and developing deeper intimacy with each other, okay? Transformation, baby. This is what you guys did, number 13. Intuitive patience, okay? The camel boy. Small steps asking for help. So I feel like you or your person may be talking to God, speaking to God, 1333, about being able to be more open in this connection. And just, God, show me the way to this connection. And baby, Sandra Goddess crew, holla at your girl, the spirit whispers. Divine guidance, higher, higher knowing, and com com compensation. Spirit is rewarding you because you were diligent saying, listen, I'm I'm in the mood for healing, basically. I want to heal. This is what I want to do. I love guys. So just crew, baby, energy to energy. If it resonates, both of you wanting to heal, the more you heal, the more you can elevate and extend within your connection, okay? Okay, let's see. I want to reach out, but I'm stubborn. So if that's, ooh, that's stubborn energy. If somebody's stubborn, they want to reach out. They're getting intuitively guided to reach out to you. Okay, Spirit, one more. I know I haven't done the right thing, and I'm thinking of making an offer to you. Sandra got his crew. Energy is energy if it res and res. And I don't know what I'm doing with my life. You're unlike anyone I ever met. Anyone else? Okay, you hurt me, hurt you. I'm not mad. Forgiveness and understanding are key. See, I love how that one came out because this person's understanding not only forgiving you within this connection or things that you guys went through, but forgiving and healing family issues, past, parents, whatever the connection, whoever they be, someone they had, any type of family initiation this person had, they're trying to heal that because when they heal that, it makes it easier for you guys to come together. I love you guys. So you guys, crew, baby, energy's energy. If it resonates, happy Saturdays and keep your head up and your heart close to God. Mwah.